Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends today we will discuss class x and class y capacitors when we see a diagram of a, any circuit we apply line neutral in two wire system and then we have a fuse then we have resistor mov voltage resistor so it is in parallel line then we see another component that is class x capacitor it is connected across the line let's see this example we apply 220 volt from here then switch fuse and after fuse we have this capacitor inductor capacitor inductor and we have these two capacitors here if you go to the part number of this component so it is written cbb 62x2 0.22 ufk 275 volt ac what is the definition the first that is part number then it have x2 it is a generation which type of capacitor it is here then it is a capacitor value 0.22 microfarad then it have k that is tolerance and it is its operating voltage 275 volts the second capacitor is also the same first one 0.22 microfarad here 0.47 microfarad x2 then we have here CY1 and CY2 these two terminals are AC line and neutral we entered the line here neutral is here it is reaching at this switch when it will pass from the switch then we have a fuse this fuse will give voltage to this line and from this switch we are taking voltage these two points these two joints are for this component that is here it is x2 generation capacitor 0.22 microfarad it is connected across the line line and neutron then we have here inductor after inductor we have these two points of inductor then here is another capacitor 0.47 microfarad x2 capacitor this one and the, here we have one capacitor between this line and second capacitor between this line we have two capacitors here one and two one is connected between this line and jumper this jumper is here then this capacitor and from this point to this point this capacitor these two capacitors this one and this one it is connected between line and neutral but if we see this this capacitor if it is line jumper this capacitor and chassis neutral this capacitor chassis either it is line or neutral so chassis is connected through these two capacitors in our three wire system if we have three wires so it is it is connected to ground so our line is connected to ground through this capacitor and class y capacitor is connected between neutral and line it is connected between line to ground and neutral to ground but this one it is connected between line and neutral and here we have inductor when we discuss inductor let's see another example then we will check it and if I see this capacitor immediately after this fuse we have this capacitor it is 0.47 microfarad to 75 volt operating voltage and in the second side in the end of second line it is written x2 it is rating x2 capacitor and if you see here we have another capacitor here that is also x2 capacitor one capacitor one inductor dual line filter one capacitor second inductor so it is connected x2 capacitor is connected across the line and then we have two capacitors that is connected to line to new line to earth and neutral to earth we have two capacitors which are connected between earth point chassis what is the story behind these capacitors in our last video I discussed 
वी आर वरिस्टर एम ओ वी दैट इज टू क्लिप ऑफ दैट इज टू क्लैम्प द स्पाइक इन द वोल्टेज इट इज आवर लाइन वोल्टेज वी कैन से इट इज फ्रॉम जीरो लाइन टू हेयर इट इज पीक वोल्टेज एंड हेयर इज नेगेटिव पीक एनी टाइम इफ वी हैव अ सर्च a spike high voltage spike in the line or in the neutral so this vr varistor mov it will remove this extra voltage and it will give a regulated voltage to the circuit but here this capacitor it have a different behavior as we know capacitor and inductor these are passive components and they deal with the frequency as we know capacitor is blocker for dc it blocks the dc we can say low frequency or equal to the dc level any any frequency that is blocked here but if the frequency will increase so its internal resistance will decrease how it is called c c capacitance capacitance for dc but when we use it in ac line then we discuss xc capacitive reactance 1 over 2 pi fc in this formula very simple formula if the frequency will increase in its internal resistance will if we take very high frequency so its resistance will decrease very low if frequency is zero we can say dc level at that time its capacitive reactance will increase so in that case it will hold the charge but when the frequency is increasing in that case its internal resistance will decrease now we have the second component that is l inductor at high frequency as we know when we increase frequency its inductive reactance will increase for dc it is a piece of wire but when we increase frequency its magnetic field will vary so its magnetic field expanding and collapsing magnetic field will generate inductive reactance so it will xl that is 2 pi fl so if the frequency will increase it will increase here it was inversely proportional here it is directly proportional if the frequency is increasing for the same inductor we are not changing the inductor same inductor at low frequency it will give easy path why 2 pi fl fl it will give easy path due to any reason if the frequency will increase at a normal pulse we can say at 60 hertz this inductor is giving easy path it is producing very little resistance and it is giving high resistance why based on this formula and it is giving low resistance based on this formula but when the frequency will increase due to any reason what are the reason we will see it in that case its inductive reactance should increase because if the frequency will increase xl will increase and here if the frequency will increase its internal resistance should decrease why because xc is inversely proportional how the frequency can increase in these two lines first of all we will discuss this line in our homes we are using ac refrigerator water pump every component every equipment it is generating spikes electromagnetic induction or we are starting the engine of our car it will take heavy current from the battery but the generator keeps sparking why because its commutator and its brushes are 
causing to flow high current and it is making high magnetic field to move the engine so in that case in our this 60 hertz there is there will be alteration here when the refrigerator will start it takes approximately 6 to 8 ampere 10 amperes for starting the compressor in that case it will generate a magnetic field so this magnetic field will enter in our line frequency it is called EMI electromagnetic induction then we have second parameter we have radio transmission we have TV transmission we have wireless communication we have towers for our mobile phone companies cellular companies so everything it is generating high frequency they are generating in megahertz our line is exposed to any transmission line so it can cause very high frequency here so this frequency when it will enter with the line frequency 60 hertz at that time at 60 hertz it was blocking because it was giving high resistance and it was giving low resistance but when 60 hertz plus noise in frequency in form of frequency so this capacitor will become short circuit it will give the easiest path and it will block the high frequency in our next circuit we have a switching IC we have a component we have different things which are working to generate some voltage some something we have a processor there so that processor is working at some specific frequency and if this frequency will enter in the circuit that will interrupt in the function of our next circuit to protect this interruption this EMI filter is used it is called EMI RFI electromagnetic induction radio frequency interference so this circuit is used to eliminate these components from our line frequency this capacitor as I discussed it is connected across the line line and neutral any capacitor it have two type of failures unexpected failures maybe due to material failure or due to its life its working hours its shelf life what are that the first failure of the capacitor it becomes open circuit if it becomes open circuit that means there is no capacitor in the circuit might be its internal lead the connection lead from inside the capacitor that is opened due to oxides due to material failure due to anything in that case this capacitor will not available in the circuit we can say either it is present but its lead is disconnected from inside or its plates are disconnected so either it is available or no it is out of circuit the second biggest failure of these components if it becomes short circuit due to two reasons the first reason due to material failure or due to its life or due to this continuous strike of high frequency which is entering here at high frequency if it is continuous it is working continuously that might be its internal temperature will increase and that can cause to fail the internal material to, to become short circuit the internal plates so in that case it can cause a fire in the circuit it can blast it can damage internally when it will become short circuit internally it will damage this fuse so fuse will blow away and our circuit will protect it because in that case line to neutral current flow will stop due to opening this fuse in first case if the capacitor is open now the noise will enter in the circuit and our circuit will next circuit will damage might be our switching IC that is working at 60 kilohertz and if the noise from here is entered at 1 megahertz and it could not stop because it is damaged in that case our IC will damage switching IC MOSFET that will damage 
it was working in differential mode noise if the noise if the high frequency may be due to lightning due to communication wireless due to any source if the frequency is entering here in both lines it will discharge from here from this capacitor why because it will give easiest path it will give high resistance because at high frequency inductive reactance will increase so it will stop the current and it will give the easiest path so it will discharge the differential mode noise to respond to give a response it will need stress on the both lines line and neutral but if the line if the noise is in the line in that case we have this capacitor the same here if this capacitor is open if it, it have failure we can say it is not present in that case this noise will enter in the circuit and it will damage the circuit in the second condition if this capacitor becomes short circuit so this line voltage will appear in the chassis and if it is functional the noise here at high frequency noise it will be grounded to our earthing point if this capacitor becomes short circuit the line voltage will reach directly in the chassis and if this chassis is not connected to the earth earthing point in that case it is a very big shock hazard because line voltage are exposed in the body in the chassis and if this capacitor is open that means it is not available but if it is present and it will remove the noise and it will give to the ground if we have connected the ground the third wire if it becomes short circuit in that case it will produce the floating voltage in the chassis so if it is not connected to ground it is it is not connected to good earth the floating voltage can appear in the chassis i discussed the floating voltage in very detail and that video is available on the my on my channel and you are seeing the video number on the screen you can check the, that video or you can find the link in the description so floating voltage will reach here in both cases these are safety capacitors if we have good connection line neutral and ground earthing point in that case these are safety capacitors these are rfi emi suppression capacitors now there is a classification of these capacitors as we see here are x2 capacitors we have x1 x2 x3 capacitors y1 y2 y3 y4 and so on so x1 capacitor it have two type of ratings first operating voltage you can say this will used in 275 volts and the second that is peak impulse voltage at how much voltage level this capacitor will finish because for any capacitor it have insulation inside at which voltage level its internal insulation will damage so x1 capacitor that is from 2.5 kv to 4 kv and it is less than 2.5 kv x2 capacitor less than 2.5 kv it is x3 capacitor this rating this category is less than 1.2 kilovolt peak impulse voltage that is the maximum rating at this point this capacitor will destroy it in wide rating capacitors it is connected to line to earth neutral to earth so y1 capacitor that is less than 500 volt it is in kilovolt and it is in volt so y2 that is from 150 volt to 500 volt y3 150 volt to 250 volt these are classification and it is less than 150 volt now we can understand x2 capacitor 
if here is class x capacitor and its rating is x2 that means its maximum surge protection for voltage in form of voltage it is 2.5 kilo volt for any capacitor we have capacitance as we see 0.22 microfarad 0.22 microfarad or k that is rating 10% 5% and x2 if it is x2 that means it is the maximum level at this point at this peak this capacitor will finished and then operating voltage 275 volt 250 volt 110 volt what is soever operating voltage capacitance category to which family it will belong it will belong to 2.7 kilo volt under 2.7 less than so class x are class y capacitors it have its peak impulse voltage rating its capacitance operating voltage and tolerance category so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any qu question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh